Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and it's time to upgrade my old Craftsman Professional tool bag here. Uh, it's served me well, but there are some things that I don't like about it. If it doesn't have enough internal pockets, pockets aren't very deep, so if I toss in tools, you know, taller tools, they tend to lean over and then cause, you know, lack of access. Um, these aren't really that handy. And if I put sharps in it, um, you know, it's hard, especially if it's over here, hard to deal with those. It just doesn't seem to hold the tools all that well. It's been good. Um, and because this is fixed, if I drop a drill in there or something, you know, you can see that fell out. Um, you know, it just impedes the ability to get in and out. So what I've decided to do is get a tough build. And that is this thing right here. Uh, this is the 12 inch um, tool tote. Uh, it is made by Tough Built, which is the company that made the, the knives that I've worked with. And this one here um, that has the um, magazines, these are now available. They're on sale at Lowe's Hardware. I think they're $17.95 or something like that. Um, but those are available now. But anyway, um, so I picked this up, I bought it, um, and I've also now kind of feels like Barbie. Um, I'm accessorizing it. And what that means is um, not only does it have great tool storage inside, even though it's only a, you know, a, basically like a 12-inch bucket, uh, it's got good storage on the outside. Um, the other thing is it has the capability to use the clip tech system that Tough Built has. Um, it's a latch mechanism on kind of this harder plastic and it allows you to snap things on. Um, and over here, just kind of show you, I've got a uh, few things on this integrated rail. So these clips um, are available. Basically, this is what they look like. And they fit uh, over a belt so you can just snap it latch it onto a belt you know any a lot of different tool storage um, and then this piece here slides right up snaps into place here and locks it and then it's just a simple release here in fact there are even some uh, additions to attach these to Milwaukee packouts I've seen um, but once you start down that road um, there's all kinds of these different tool packs um, here's a drill, so I can snap this, I could put one on a belt and then drop my drill right onto my belt or right here. Uh, however, I've been searching for different things like that. Here's a, one of my plier, early plier packs from a long time ago that I would just snip onto a belt. Um, here's a snap-on drill holder, never really worked all that well. Um, here's another drill holder. Um, this one was designed to go on a belt and you drop your drill in, but you had to have the perfect drill. This is a drill hook. It actually does work for a lot of other things. You can hook, hook it to a, a belt or something. I have a uh, Milwaukee one. This was a series of kind of clip tools. I don't have the tool any or the clip for it anymore, but Milwaukee had these things then would allow you to just snap something to it. Never worked all that well. And you can see there's just tons of room in this small case, even though it's just a 12, and this is one of the smallest ones. You know, got another clip tech here. Mix and match these however I want. And more good solid pockets to hold things without losing them or without them, you know, falling. I'm tipping. Uh, this basically slides back and forth so it gets out of the way, gives me total access. Uh, this is also a magnet, so I can, if I have something magnetic, you know, like the Milwaukee light here, now you can see um, that I've got an access point there. I can put a, um, let's see if I've got one here, one of the little magnets for, um, like Snap-on's little magnet attachment or magnet catchers and I can drop one of those on uh, here it is I knew there was one on there somewhere so I can keep that on there um, of course you can drop a tape on like I started with 
Um, anything with a belt clip can easily slip on there and stay. Plus these. And now this one, if it's too long and hits the ground, like you can see that that's a, probably a little too long. Um, that's why I have put these over here. This one I have the strap up if I wanted to have a strap, but I could easily drop this down behind. And that's what I'm showing you here. The strap's actually tucked away. But once it's over here, just drop it on. There we go, ready to move out. And um, a few others. Well, I have worked with this uh, Klein. Klein just didn't have much tool storage. Um, it was more of a, a nice bucket, and that's sort of what I used it for. Um, and then I've got uh, the Knipex. You know, it's more a laptop bag with a couple of um, different bands to store different Knipex tools. <clears throat> the Knipex line, uh, I don't know who makes it. Um, it, it's Knipex branded, but it doesn't have quite the same heavy-duty quality that I wish. It seems pretty good, but um, a little soft. Now the other thing, last thing, is I can mount these, these um, clip techs onto other things like this. Oops. Um, so I could, if I'm in a shop or something, turn it around here, um, or on a wall or, or anything else, and then hang tools, hang drills, do whatever it is that I want. There's a nice solid click. So it's kind of a nice little system here. Anyway, I'm going to keep accessorizing my Barbie tool bag and um, see what else Clip Tech and Tough Built uh, has to offer. Just seems like a good solid design. I'm impressed. I like it. Sorry, Craftsman Professional. And with that, Doc out.